about Joel's performance? I mean, I am just so proud of of what he did on the court. Uh, the the professionalism he showed as this was all playing out uh, in regards to the end of the regular season and, and him trying to do whatever he could to to return to play and you know t- take the the real situation of not only was he injured and not playing basketball now you got to come back in on the road and play a playoff game with a mask. And it's not like there's a clear, you know, vision line out of the mask. It has a, you know, protective lens in there as well. And, you know, for him to come back under those uh, terms in that situation and produce the results that he produced and help lead us to a road playoff win, I'm very, very proud of him. I think at one point uh, earlier this season, closing out fourth quarters was a big thing that you guys were working on. Um, can you kind of walk us through how you saw things came together and what that says about the growth of the team now to do that uh, on the road and close a game out like that? I mean, we, we've always tried to, you know, base our program and base our mind and our mindset on defense. And I thought that in the first half, both teams were scoring uh, pretty pretty easily, you know. You felt like the physicality of the game, but it really didn't translate into the scoreboard. When you look at you know both teams had in the mid 60s at the end of the first half, and I thought that we fouled too much in that first half. The game was physical, but I thought in general our defense and especially our fourth quarter defense to hold that team at home to 14 points to close out the the game. To your point. I, I go straight to our defense. Brett, can you also talk about how your team responded to the physical play? I mean, I give so much credit to the Miami Heat in regards to the, the, the their culture. I respect their culture, and I certainly respect their, their history. And, you know, they they played away in Philadelphia in game two. And they continue to play that way here in Miami. And I was proud of our team where we, we, we accepted the physicality in a way that I felt was technically fundamental. I thought we created leads well. I thought that, that, that we were strong with the ball. I thought that they didn't completely bend us over like they did in Philadelphia to end up with 12 turnovers only and still find a way to have 28 assists. And I think that five guys had four assists or more. Those are massive numbers and, and to me, statement numbers against a a very physical Miami Heat team. And so you asked the question about how do we respond. We did a pretty good job. We did better than we did in Philadelphia, and we're going to need to continue to improve handling their pressure. Brett, I know your young core guys, this is their first go around in an NBA playoff scenario, but do you feel like Dario's experience internationally and in other high level competitions has helped him thrive in this environment? I, I definitely do. And we've spoken a little bit about this in, in, in Philadelphia. You know, I, I know I, I, I coached in FIBA basketball for 17 years, and I know the environment that he has played in in FIBA basketball. You know, the the EuroLeague is high-level basketball. Playing in the Olympic Games is high-level basketball. Playing in the European Championships, high-level basketball. World Championships, high-level basketball. He's been groomed since he was 14 to play basketball. He's from a basketball family. He, He has played, you know, not on our shores as much as I just said, uh, internationally. And all those experiences have added up and to him pretty much handling this moment. Like, he's not phased by the moment. And I thought tonight there was a toughness, there was a skill package. You could see the passion that, that, that he had just with his facial expressions and his body language coming off the floor. I thought he was fantastic tonight. Brett, to that end, I know you guys were really excited when you got Marco a couple months ago. When you got him, I'm sure you envisioned certain things, but did, did you envision that he would become this much of a key and be this good for you? I did not, and I've known, I've known of Marco Bellinelli 
for a long time. And as I've said in many press conferences, his last three coaches are my friends, you know. And so I, I know I feel like, you know, scouting him and watching him and then, you know, downloading my friends who coached him, you had a pretty good snapshot of who he was. But he has exceeded in many, many ways uh, the expectation that I had for Marco coming in. You know, he's really grown to be an integral part of our fabric. Like, he's a great teammate. He's, he's, he's accepted, um, you know, defensive criticism and us, like, biting him on defense and letting him have a freedom offensively. And uh, he, he really tonight, you know, I thought was, was excellent. And for that, I decided to ride him out, you know, and, and, and have him finish the game because of uh, his performance. Oh, sorry. What did you think about just Justin Anderson's defense on on Dwayne Wade and and kind of the spark that he gave you guys there? And, and go to TJ also. You, you know, like I, I decided to go with TJ as a backup in the second half. We decided to go with Justin right from the get go and insert him into you know the rotation. And I think that both of those guys, to your point, injected just a passion, an energy, an enthusiasm, a toughness, a, a pace. Both of them, um, I, I, I feel, had a, you know, TJ in less minutes, Justin in more minutes, but they, they really had, I think, a, a, an impact on the game. They, th- those two guys came in and really helped us find a little bit more of an edge and, and uh, I think had a result in, in, in the win that we just left. How much of an adjustment did Joel have to make with the mask early on? And are you guys going to have to tweak anything on that going forward? I really don't know. You know, I haven't spoken to Joe and, and you know, asked him how did it feel, all that stuff. He, he will be able to express himself well. I mean, I can only imagine, you know, the, the, the restriction he probably felt wearing the, the mask then plus the lens. You know, you, you could see the energy in the game. I think I think Justice came over and tried to crush one of the masks. You know, fortunately, we had a uh, a mask in the bullpen. We could mm-hmm. we we could bring that back out. But uh, yeah, I'm sure he can explain it better. I just know I can only guess that that would be a frustrating situation for him. You know what? It's 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 part of the game. It's good for the game. It's the playoffs. You know, Justice is good people. He's highly competitive, and it's just part of the game. That's that's the NBA playoffs, and you could see the spirit in which both teams played. It, it it really never left any other word than physical. It was physical for the whole game, and uh, that example that we're talking about with Justice probably is as good an example of just the mindset everybody had uh, tonight. Thank you.